All right, for this week's challenge, I'm going to talk to you about something that I wish I would have talked about um, at the beginning of this year when I started these everyday mulemanship challenges back in January. Um, but better late than never, so I'm going to talk to you about it today, and maybe it'll help you be a little bit more thoughtful about how you ride and what you're doing while you're riding. Um, I've learned that if you can't control yourself, um, I don't know why you'd be fooled into thinking you could control your mule. And what I mean by that is a lot of people have a hard time controlling their bodies, their breathing, the, what their hands are doing, and what their legs are doing, what their seat is doing, uh, and even what your eyes are doing. Um, and this is something I've been working on myself, personally, trying to get better at, and I'll be working at this my whole life, trying to get better at, but um, I'll just kind of start riding here and I'll talk as I ride a little bit. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to be thoughtful all the time about what I'm using. Uh, you know, we've talked about the order of operations, you know, seat, leg, and rein. And I've tried to be a bit more thoughtful on, on what I do because a lot of times, a lot of times I could maybe forget your seat a little bit. Like when I just left off there, you know, I was trying to be thoughtful enough to... Uh, kind of roll forward and initiate that walk and right now I'm just walking around a little nice little slow walk um, or medium slow walk right here and I'm I'm thinking about what I'm doing but I'm gonna break it down from the beginning for you um, starting with breathing just breathing is probably one of the most important little tools that you didn't know <laughs> you had with your mulemanship here um, particularly holding your breath it can be very detrimental. Um, on the other hand, good breathing and, and concentrated breathing, smooth breathing will both relax you and relax your mule you're working with. So some of you that are working with colts or you're working with troubled mules, control your breathing. When you, when you hold your breath, your oxygen goes on reserve and your extremities will tense up your legs, your arms, your hands, etc. Your mule can feel this. So holding your breath as you're riding will be detrimental. One thing you can do if you're maybe you do have a problem with holding your breath is is just try talking while you're riding, just like I am right now. You can just talk to your mule if you like. You can hum a song, sing a song, whatever. Um, if you have a tendency to get nervous and hold your breath. But holding your breath will do you no good while you're riding. The other thing I want to talk about, and I'm just going to pick and choose here a few things that I want to say, is your eyes. Your eyes and where you look is so important. And this is a glitch that I see all of us doing, and I've done it a million times. Um, while you're on the ground or in the saddle, people forget to look and have a plan and be intentional about where they would like their mule to go. On the groundwork, I see it all the time. People will start out and maybe they start down here on this end of the arena and by the time they look up, they're on the other end. That happens because you're not being intentional about where you want to send the mule. You're not being thoughtful about where you want those tracks to be. I see the same thing in the riding. A lot of times people will end up uh, staring here at the mule's head their neck. A lot of people just look right here and they wonder how come they they have problems with straightness and they have problems with balance and they have problems with getting their mule to go where they like them to go. You, you need to be looking and and even as I'm just riding here I'm looking like okay I'd like to go to the right of that little grass there, the left of that little pebble right there you know and you're just being considerate here. So your eyes are important. And the last thing I want to mention in this video here is just softness through your body. You, I go to the clinics and everybody tells me, I mean, I think that's probably one of the number one goals. And I don't know if that word is just, gets to be a cliche or whatever, but everybody says, I want to work on softness. And they want their mules to be soft and, and, and they want to build lightness, which softness and lightness are two different things, but they use the word softness a lot. If you're rigid in your body and you're real tense in your body and your muscles, and your knees, you're holding on with your knees, or you're, you're gripping your, your, your tense in your shoulders, um, you're tight in your back, 
whatever it is, um, the mule will feel that. So work on just relaxing your body. And of course your breathing will help that. But a lot of people get tight in their body. They get tight in their legs and they get to squeeze them with their knees a lot. Okay, so you'd be, be thoughtful about that. The other thing is, is in our hands with that softness, you know. A lot of times we're just stuck holding the reins in one spot real tight. You, I like to be real smooth and, and fluid with my reins and, and just use them as needed here and then leave them alone. I'm not having a death grip on these reins. And there's some folks that just hold the reins in a specific spot. I've seen a lot of people even mark the reins where they'd like to hold them. The only marker on reins that I think would be of value to you guys is a center marker. Because you'll notice like a lot of times I'm riding a mule like this, or pretty much any mule. I'll, I'll ride here with my left hand and try to keep them centered. And if I need to, I could reach down with my right. Or I could hold right here with my right hand in the center, reach down with my left. Um, whatever, whatever would suit you on that. But be soft in your hands and not be hanging on so much. So those are a couple things that I'd like you to think about this week as you ride. That's my challenge to you this week is to be a little bit more thoughtful of yourself and try to get control of yourself. Work on your breathing, work on your eyes, work on softness in your body, your legs, your, your arms and your hands, and um, try to be more considerate of that. Like I said, if you can't control yourself, I don't know how you're gonna get control of your mule. So anyways, I hope that gives you something to think about. I hope you enjoy this week's challenge. Um, it's a lifelong challenge. This isn't something that you just work on for a week, nor is any of the things I've sent out this whole year. Um, this is just something you keep working at, keep getting better at all the time forever. So thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys following along all year. And uh, God bless you. And we'll see you next week.